Hey everybody, I have been printing. This is a Scout Trooper Blaster. I forget the name of it from Star Wars Universe, but Scout Trooper Blaster. I made a few of these, and a buddy of mine in my 404th Legion is getting two, and I will be making more. This one is mine. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out. See, the thing is the printer jammed. So I ended up having to retune everything. Bed, nozzle, everything. Clean motors, uh, all of that. And, well, I have not had good quality like this in a long time. So I'm very happy with the way this thing turned out. With the way they all turned out. And it's just so cool looking. I mean, it's just cool looking. Yeah, that's straight. It just, it's an illusion. Okay. Scout Trooper Blaster made. And yeah, the reticle, reticle, whatever. It's in there. It works good. There's only a little bit of glue holding this on. You see the bracket right there around the scope? It has two pegs that go into the, the body. And they're glued in because it's the weakest friction fit. But the rest of it is friction fit. I mean, it's not coming out. I mean, not like I could drop it and it wouldn't mess up, right? The scope is in two parts. I... Had to fix the files. By the way, this is the one from Thingiverse, and it doesn't work very well. You have to fix it. You have to fix the files to make it work. Tolerances were off. This is the Scout Trooper Improved, and I will leave a link below so you can go check it out yourself. But be ready. They're not, they're not quite right. It is a small little thing, and... I modified it. See, there's a hole right there for a future trigger. It doesn't have one. It didn't come with one. This is supposed to be the side trigger. <laughs> this this uh, printed diode, right? It's supposed to be a side trigger. But I might take advantage of that later and put like something under it to make it squeeze like a button. But until then... I'm happy with it, and this looks so good. So many people complain about the 3D printed lines and stuff. Look at that sheen. That is really nice. You get that glistening effect. And that's not on all 3D plastics. That's just not, not just on this glossy stuff, right? Everything. All of them. When, when you're dialed in right, then stuff comes out looking so good. But I will leave a link to the original file on Thingiverse. And I am I might do a trigger mech. I may not. I just might. Whatever. I don't know. I don't run a scout. So. It's just so cool to have one. I got asked to run one. And I did. And I was like. Wow. This really is cool. I've done a couple of these before. But that was like years ago. When the printer was not in tuned up shape like it is now and now it's just wow that is really good quality I think Affinia H479 yeah I'm sorry they quit making them and sorry that sorry they quit supporting them all they had to do was upgrade the bed size and keep the same firmware and all that firmware <laughs> whatever it's proprietary but, yeah, this thing is it came out so super slick. Okay, that's all for this one. Scout Blaster. Thanks for that glistening. Oh, the sheen of the plastic. Oh, that's so cool. Love that. Scout Blaster. Printed. Made.